All right, big up. This is MC Xander, and you're watching Loftus TV. <laughs> becomes your often destination, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, in, in recent months and years, there's certainly been a lot more gigs in Eastern Europe. Um, it's just, I think it's just a really great um, place, like lots of them, you know. I don't know, maybe as it gets colder, there's, there's people that like slightly deeper music. I don't know, that's sort of my hypothesis at the moment, but... Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm here a lot. <laughs> How did you understand you can actually beatbox? It's not the question of, of understanding that you've got skills. It's not, it's not something that is like given to you by genetics or, or God. It's um, something that you learn and you practice and you spend every day in your room trying out different things and eventually you come to a place where you really are able to do it and people are not just telling you to shut up all the time, which happens roughly the first year or so of beatboxing. People are just like, ah, shut up, that's rubbish. But you've got to persevere and um, yeah, so I did. But yeah, it's, de it's definitely more perspiration than inspiration. What excites you most for the year ahead? What excites me? Well, I'm really excited to write my new album. It's a hot, it's kind of a strange metaphor, and I'm, I'm sure like you know mothers would would probably not say that it's exactly like this. But I feel almost like pregnant. <laughs> you know, I feel like there's like there's something inside, and it, it's it's sort of coming, and it's getting bigger, and and you can't contain it any longer, and you have to try and do something to, you know, breathe, <laughs> breathe. Um, but so essentially, it, w it won't be satisfied until it comes out and we, we have a good album. In the old photos I saw you with lots of hair. Where, where yeah, have yeah. they gone? My hair, yeah, I, I cut my dreads off recently. Yeah, and um, I just sort of, I'd had two sets of dreads and um, I loved them. And I think, you know, people with dreads are always kind of interesting people. And, I, I you know, I, I really enjoy it. And, but, it's time for me to move on, you know. If someone's got dreads, they come up to you and they go, ah, oh, right, you've got dreads. I instantly know something about you. Maybe you like reggae, maybe you're chilled, maybe you're this, maybe you're that. And they have all these ideas in their head. So they're not talking to me as like a neutral person. They're, they're talking to me as a guy with dreads. Whereas now, you know, without the dreads, people kind of like, right, what is this? And then I feel like I can be a bit more like, crazy or, or not crazy or I could just do I'm, I'm free from the idea <laughs> you and you've been studying psychology yeah I actually just got um, yeah got the, the UK government uh, have offered to fund me to do a master's and a PhD in, in this psychology thing so I'm gonna be doing that at the same time as writing music and the two things are like totally different obviously but one really like helps me understand things in a, in a mental way and then one allows me to express it with my heart and and that's what music and and psychology do together for me it, it sort of balances my head and my heart <laughs> When I go 